Hey, what's up, YouTube? These are the highlights from Tesla's Cybertruck event. Now, if you're at all excited by what you're about to see, you don't have to wait years for the Cybertruck. Teslas in general, regardless of the model, are by far the safest, most fun, and most advanced vehicles on the road. You can actually purchase a Model S, X, or 3 and get 1,000 miles of free supercharging if you order from GetSupercharging.com. It'll be the first link below. Welcome to the Cybertruck unveil. Trucks have been the same for a very long time, like a hundred years. We want to try something different. The functionality I'm going to describe is within a space that is less than the most po popular pickup truck in the United States, the F-150. So we didn't cheat in either width, height, or length. Greater capability in the same, same dimensions, same weight. Fundamental design change, we moved the mass to the outside. We created an exoskeleton. So normally the way that a truck is designed, you have a body on frame, you have a bed on frame. Body and the bed don't do anything useful. They're carried like cargo, like a sack of potatoes. It, it was the way that aircraft used to be designed it, when they had biplanes. Key to creating an effective monoplane was a stressed skin design. You move the stress to the outside skin. It allows you to do things that you can't do with a body on frame. So we're able to make the, the skin out of ultra hard stainless steel. It's really hard. We're going to show you just how hard. So, Franz, Franz has a sledgehammer. It's a regular truck door. <laughs> now I hit the cyber truck. Same thing. Hit it harder. Really wind up and nail it. It's pretty nice. strong. Very strong. You want a truck that's really tough? Not fake tough. Your truck can take a sledgehammer too. Truck that won't scratch, doesn't dent. What else can we do? What if we, what if we shot at OSHA? I mean, come on. That, that's a nine millimeter bullet shot at the door. Shoot it! We're in California, unfortunately. <laughs> it is literally bulletproof to a nine millimeter uh, handgun. That's how strong the skin is. It's ultra hard, cold rolled, uh, stainless steel alloy that we've developed. We're gonna be using the same alloy in, in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. On the right, that's like normal truck doors, like it might as well be made of tissue paper. That's the, the, looks like a paintball, very different. You know, when you say something's built tough, that's what we mean. But what, what about the glass? We have a tra transparent metal glass. So let's show the glass demo. First, this is regular glass. Shatters immediately. Now I'll show you Tesla armor glass. This maybe like do it at a bigger height. Or Franz, could you try to break this glass, please? Oh my fucking God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. Yeah. Should we try it in the rear? <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. It didn't go through. That's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the rear. Right. Try that one, really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh, <laughs> man. So the room for improvement through everything. We even literally threw the kitchen sink at the, at the, the, the glass, and it didn't break. For some weird reason, it broke now. I don't know why. In addition, the car has an adaptive air suspension. This will come standard on all the cars. Every truck has the ability to adjust the ride height, so you can go very low or very high, so you can be efficient on the highway, and you can, you can also go off-roading. The highest clearance of any production truck, about a 16-inch clearance, uh, you can adjust this on the fly. So it's adaptive damping and, and adaptive uh, ride, ride height. These, these are actually extremely important for a truck, because trucks, when you only drive them, they're either too cushy or they're, they're too hard. Um, you need it to be able to adjust dynamically depending upon what the load is. If you've got a lot of people on board, if you've got a full bed in the, in the back, it's got to adjust accordingly. The rear is 100 cubic feet, six and a half foot bed length, uh, up to 3,500 pounds of payload, and it can tow. What about a real world, real world test? Like, let's, let's uh, actually have a tug of war here with an F-150. Yeah, but it was uphill. <laughs> Let's see, on-road performance. How does this uh, compare to uh, a Porsche 911? Okay, we're gonna give the Porsche a little bit of a head start. Yeah, this is a, this is a current, 
current edition Porsche. This is not CGI. In terms of off-road performance, it's gonna have the best approach angle, best clearance heights, best departure angle. For people that are really like, going off-road, this is gonna be great. You can basically do the Baja Rally in this thing. We have three ranges. So obviously they'll have access to all the superchargers. Uh, be capable of uh, more than 250 kilowatts. It has onboard outlets for 110 and 220 volts. And as a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension so you have a, a, a pneumatic source, onboard air compressor. Of course, it will come with autopilot standard. There will be three versions, and but it's gonna. So that, that's the price without any incentives. That's just like the price without any incentives. The actual economics are even better than that. The cost of electricity is much less than the cost of gasoline. There's no oil changes, no smog checks, none of that stuff. So your maintenance is low, cost of operations are low. You can order now if you would like. We also made an ATV. The truck, this is what I mean by the adaptive air suspension. The adaptive air suspension, you can drop real low. So you got a load mode, you got a built-in ramp, you take an ATV or dirt bike, whatever you want. It's currently plugged in and charging. The car is adjusting itself, so you can go like real tight on the freeway, and you can go way high off-roading. 